Hey, what's going on card collectors? It's Ken with Ken's Cardboard. And it's feeling wintry out today. Got a little snow coming down here in the backyard. It's a beautiful day. It started out raining today, but then snow. But today, Saturday, February 3rd, is the NHL All-Star Game. And several of these players that I got here are all All-Stars. Um, got Kale McCarr. He was all, he's an all-star along with his buddy Nathan McKinnon and uh, Alexander Georgiev, the goalie for the for the Avalanche. Landon McDonald, I believe he was an all-star in the past as well. So um, I got a few cards to show you today. I got some modern cards and a little bit of vintage cards. So let me show some cardboard. First up, we're going to show some vintage stuff here. Got a little bit of Colorado Rockies hockey here. Check out those old school pads. This is the team card from 1977. And at this point, I like this card that I got. I ordered the whole set off of offline. And you can see that someone checked off all of the uh, cards they got the complete set so love it glad to have this one in my collection so got the team card then we got uh, left winger here gary cruteau i don't know much about these hockey players yet from the rockies i'll find out a little bit right now he's uh don't say where he was born sudbury ontario so there we go pretty cool one of the right rockies brightest performers he's a steady player then we got Barry Dean, left winger. Look at the flow on that guy's hair. Love it. Great picture. <laughs> Do they have like all the lights turned off when they're taking all these photos in the <laughs> in the stadium? I mean, it's crazy how dark it is. This guy was born in uh, Maple Creek, Saskatchewan. Lives in Evergreen, Colorado. As an amateur, he earned the nickname Mean Barry Dean. That's pretty cool. That's funny. The backs, the backs of these cars look like the fronts of the '75s. Interesting. All right, who else we got? We got Tom Adur. Again, this is a little bit brighter, but not that much. Still pretty dark. In the hockey arenas back then. Tom often turns to canoeing for recreation. And he was born in Toronto, Ontario. Toronto area hotbed for uh, hockey players, apparently. Paul Gardner, center for the Rockies. A little bit brighter in that one. I love those. Look at those red shorts. and uh, That's pretty cool. He was born in uh, Fort Erie, Ontario. Paul was Oshawa's most valuable player from 75-76. Pretty cool. A couple more, a few more on the team here. Wilf Payment, right winger. Wilf is born in. Can't read that. Earlton, Ontario. Like I said, hotbed, Mont Ontario for hockey players. Here we go. Michelle Plas, Plasse. I don't know how to say that. Goalie for the Rockies. And he is born in Montreal, Quebec. And last up, we got uh, Nelson Piat, center. Now, now, there we go, bright. Got the lights on now. <laughs> Let's see what we got on the back of here. He's uh, born in Fort Port Arthur, Ontario. All these people, all these players are from Ontario, from the Rockies. All right, that is a pretty cool set for... I think that was the first season, or maybe the second season. The Rockies came, were in uh, in Colorado. They came. They were. They used to be the uh, Kansas City Scouts. All right, I picked up this card. This is from a set called In the Game 2005. So I don't know if it was a game or these were just hockey cards. I guess you know 190. So I'm sure it was a set. Um, this is a picture of Lanny on the. Rockies, again, this card is 
similar design to this uh, 75 rookie card. Look at the difference between uh, Lanny rookie, Lanny with a mustache. Awesome. Lanny is the only Hall of Famer that played for the Colorado Rockies. Keep that over here. All right, now let's get into some modern cards. Picked up a few Nathan McKinnon cards here. I liked this one, Authentic Moment, SP Authentic Moment. October 16, 2018, McKinnon sets Avs record with goal in six straight games. 2018-19, SP Authentic. Very nice. This is from the 2022-23. Timmy Hortons. 111 points. Point leaders. Wasn't the top point leader, but... First time McKinnon ever made over 100 points. You'd think he'd done it before. He got to like 99 once in the 90s a couple other times, but mostly because of injuries. He didn't quite break 100. I believe he's already at like 84 at the All-Star break, so he's getting ready to, you know, score 140 points this year. So pretty cool. I like the shine on this foil card. Then picked up this card for a steal. This is a rookie card from Panini. Dominion, I already can see that down there. The blue foil on the bottom. It's really hard to see in the camera. Um, there you go, you can see the blue foil there. Got a nice little swatch there, numbered out of 99, but I just love the design of this and the image on the card. And I think I only paid $40 for this, so. It might not be in the perfect condition with the corners and whatnot, but I don't care. I just like having the card, so. Throw that up there. Then I also picked up some Kale McCars. Um, this card here and the and McCar. I don't know if you guys ever buy from Burbank Sports Cards. They're having a deal: buy five, get one free. And they've all their is all their cards ship free shipping nowadays. So this is the pageantry from SP Authentic, which is an awesome set. Love this card. Look at the shine. This is twenty one twenty two pageantry. You can see at the top barely, but pretty cool. Also picked up this from Upper Deck Exquisite. Recognizing Makar for his Conn Smythe Trophy winning and for the MVP in the playoffs during the 21-22 Cup run that the Avalanche had. So that's pretty cool. Number at 299. The car that year got the Norris Trophy and the Conn Smythe, and he, uh, he's pretty much working on as many awards as he can get. So that's a beauty. Shout out to my buddy Shane over Shoebox Legends. He uh, got he likes the trophy cards, and I like having that one because it kind of shows that uh, Makar has won some trophies already. Um, picked this up last year in February. This is the metal, precious metal gems out of 100. Uh, this is number 91 out of 100. I believe that the first 10 are the green ones, and then the last 90 are the reds. Pretty cool. And then this is the 22, 21, uh, 21, 22. That was 2021. This is the 2021. I picked with this one up in the summertime. Love the red foil on these precious metal gems. This is also numbered out of 100. Number 27 out of 100. And in 21-22, they also made a parallel jersey, the alternate jersey. And I finally picked this one up. These are really hard to grade. These look pretty clean though. I'm probably gonna send them in to get graded eventually. But uh, there we got the three precious metal gems of uh, Kale McCarr. This one is, I think, numbered out of 50, 54 out of 100. I'll throw that one over here. I just love the red shine on those cards. That's it for my hockey. Um, didn't really watch the... I watched some of the skills competition for the All-Star Game on YouTube last night, but um, didn't really watch the All-Star Game. It's kind of boring. 
I might watch a little bit of highlights from that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay warm out there, and go Avs.